Now once we know how to use printf and scanf, we'll remove this for time being and let's focus on different operators in C. Now when you talk about operators, you have arithmetic operators, you have logical operators and you have relational operators. So let's start with the arithmetic operators. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll use these three variables int, i, j and k and let's first do the addition operator. So whenever you want to do addition operator, so for addition we need to use an operator which is called as plus. So plus is for addition operator and when you print the value you'll be getting addition which is 17. Now let's do one more operation which is k equal to, so let's say you want to subtract two numbers and oh I forgot to give the initial value so let's provide the initial value. So initial value for i is 9 and j is 3 okay so when you say 9 plus 3 you will get 12 so when I when I run this I will get 12 let's do one more operation now once we have printed we don't want the the last value of k so we'll replace it so we'll say i minus j so which is it will give you the subtraction so let me use the code oh, oh. so let's reuse the code here and if I print instead of addition we'll say sub okay now next we'll be doing is i equal to so k equal to i into j so when you want to when you want to multiply so you have to use this hash trick sign which is star and again we'll print and we'll say multiplication of this two and the last one is which is k equal to i divide by j so when you want to say you want to divide two values we have to use slash unfortunately we don't have any symbol of div divide in keyboard that's why we use slash and we'll say this is division so that's how we that's how you use uh, arithmetic operators let's run this so you'll be getting this output here so addition of 9 and 3 is 12 9 and subtraction 9 minus 3 is 6 Multiplication 9 into 3 is 27 and 9 divided by 3 is 3, right? So th this is how you have to use uh, arithmetic operator. So in the next video, we'll talk about different types of operators. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.